Hi guys, I'm Sayed from Cloud Revolt. In today's video, we are going to show you how to create SSH user on multiple server using Ansible. Uh, you don't have to log in on each server and run the commands to create a user. So follow with me step by step and see how we can do it. First of all, we are going to launch multiple servers on AWS. Let me just uh, put it SSH user dash. Okay, here we go. We are going to use. <coughs> okay, confirm. T2 micro. I'm going to use my. Uh, existing key to log in. I'm gonna use uh, this from anywhere. Allow SSH from anywhere for now. You have to make it do now. I just increase the number to three. It's gonna launch uh, three SSH, uh, three AWS instances. Let's click here and see how many instances are going to be launched. Let's name it uh, one. Two. That's three. I think we are going to use these servers for other videos as well. So why not removing it? Uh, and I'm changing the names of uh, attacks oh, here it is now what I'm going to do is uh, copy uh, the keys uh, to the servers okay and for that I need to use uh, this uh, server it's uh, a Jenkins server which are uh, we are running the S SSH key. Let's see, do we have any key generated? Yes, we have. We are just going to copy this pub. Okay, now uh, let's create a new uh, session, not just create a new session. Uh, Okay, now I just click on this and click on connect and go to the console of this server. Let me switch it, switch to you root and uh, don't see that is there any pal yeah, it is. there it is I just copy the public key from our Jenkins server you can call you can use other a uh, server as well as I'm managing my things from the Jenkins so I'm copying it from here and uh, let me check if I'm able to SSH on this server. There you go. I'm able to SSH on the server. So uh, you just control D to exit. And uh, let's do it on other servers as well. Let's go to this second server.
copy this and let's switch from copy the SSH public key there you go even exit this session and now let's do it for server number three Add the public SSH key on the third server. There we go. Click on save, exit. Now what we're gonna do is create a new freestyle project. We are going to Teammate as a search user, we are click for freestyle and click OK. Let us parameterize it with things. So, whatever we're gonna enter, it's gonna pass. Let's see, we need to enter your username uh, we are going to enter another single parameter we going to password let's keep it capital enter your password For now, let's uh, save this job. Okay, the job has been saved. Now, let's go to, I'm sorry uh, for my bad throat. Okay, here we go. Uh, now open our VS code and uh, first of all uh, we are going uh, to or this we need to create this uh, password and user password uh, the variables on your group bars and next uh, we are going to create uh, an SSH user folder task and this is our main uh it's gonna create a user and enter uh, the suitors line as well it has no restriction let's see is there any playbook no there is no playbook let's create server jobs part yaml okay I've created the server jobs.yml and let us okay this is what it's gonna call the group bars the roles I have done is this and let's commit our latest changes to the repositories SSH or of okay so we need to push it okay it has been pushed now let's uh, pull our latest code on this there it is I'm going to copy this command now let's go to our Jenkins and configure our job 
click on configure scroll down on build step execute shell you can click on execute shell okay now i'm gonna switch the directory to this and run my command Ansible. Oh, there's a book. I okay. I'm gonna tag SSH user job uh, minus minus extra dash wars food. If you don't know what is extra wars, uh, you need to uh, see that you can change the variables while running the commands and uh, if you can see i need to copy these uh, variables from this like you can use dollar curly brackets for jenkins variables so our first variable is user and let's uh, three let's add the password section also there you go i'm gonna copy it from this and change the variable password okay there we go now our job has been done now we just need to do one more thing but what, what's that is is uh we had not added any uh, host over there so i'm not i'm gonna say ssh doors and add those IPs of the servers. Let's uh, copy this. Go to the next one. Now, let's and for the third one. Okay, let us commit. Edit demo servers with users. Okay, let us push the code and uh, let me pull it on our terminal. Okay, now let's roll. try and see if we can able to create. Like uh, I wanted to create uh, a demo SSH user and uh, I'm going to use uh, any of the password uh, you like, you can use it. Okay. Okay. 
let me just type this password or any of the password you can use let's see if it's gonna work or not okay permission denied Let us check why we are getting this permission denied. Let's see. Okay, going to push this. See if it's able. Okay, uh, we are managed to fix the SSH users. So let's see. Uh, this time the job is coming. The key was not updated on the server. So I just copy it on to Jenkins for Jenkins to allow to do SSH. So let's try one more time and see. Okay. Now, as you can see, uh, the server has created the SSH user. So let's see if this user has been created or not. Let me just go to our full guide and see inventory and login to the server. There we go. Now let's see the user is created or not. As you can see, the user is created. And so you can check any of the server and see. Let's check on the third one. And here we go, we just see it. See, you can see the demo server is there. Okay. All right. Uh, this is how you're going to create uh, these as such users or multiple servers. And uh, see you in the next video. I'm putting my repo link in the description. So if you need to refer the code or use it for reference, you can use it easily. So take care. Bye bye.